Boston police are now investigating the city's health department after the Boston Public Health Commission finds evidence of theft and misconduct at a city homeless shelter. Fox Undercover broke this story last night. And now there are questions about whether the city is really holding employees implicated in the wrongdoing accountable. Our investigative reporter Mike Baudet here with some answers. Mike. Maria and Mark, the program under scrutiny is called Serving Ourselves. The city found that's exactly what some employees at the homeless shelter were doing, serving themselves by stealing food and money. The city fired the kitchen manager and found eight other employees acted inappropriately, including the kitchen manager's supervisor, who happens to be a convicted bank robber. But that supervisor and the other employees entangled in the controversy are keeping their jobs. 2,000 meals a day are prepared in this kitchen at the Long Island Shelter. Food for the homeless and employees of the Boston Public Health Commission. But it's not the food that's making the commission's executive director sick. It's the actions of some of her employees. And I'm going to acknowledge that this is a problem. Uh, it's something that I apologize uh, for it having happened, you know, certainly under my leadership. Dr. Barbara Ferrer says the problem was discovered in September after an employee came forward saying money collected from workers buying lunch disappeared. The person who was in charge of turning in the receipts noticed that money was missing. She went to the, the kitchen manager who told her she didn't need to worry about it. Um, he then told her that he in fact had borrowed the money but he was going to replace it. Kitchen manager John Fell allegedly borrowed the money to bail his daughter out of jail. And that's not all. How much money disappeared? We have documented um, $1,600. Um, that we know has disappeared in cash. The investigation into the kitchen manager and the extent of the alleged wrongdoing quickly expanded. It really became apparent that there were other problems and uh, other activities that were happening under uh, the direction of the kitchen manager that were really inappropriate and in fact uh, we, we would allege that they were illegal. According to this internal investigation conducted by the Boston Public Health Commission, the kitchen manager ordered food for his personal consumption at the commission's expense. In this email, Fell writes, call and order me one case of ribs and flat meat. It's for my son's party. The report also accuses Fell of using commission meat, including steak and ribs, for years during football season for tailgating parties. Very poor leadership and poor management. Uh, he allowed and tolerated and in fact I think created a culture um, that is unacceptable. Employees admitted receiving everything from filet, ribs and turkey to a wedding cake, all at the commission's expense. Another employee even billed the commission for all the food for his wedding, more than $2,000. The kitchen manager worked at the Long Island shelter for 16 years and was fired after he wouldn't cooperate with the internal investigation. Could this have gone on for 16 years? You know, I, I would think anything's possible, but I think that scenario is unlikely. The truth is you don't know how long this was going on? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And we're looking into it. You see, we, you know, we've given you a 55-page report. Um, we're turning it over to Boston Police to get their help on it. Eight other employees are facing disciplinary action, including the kitchen manager's boss, Homeless Services Administrator John Christian. The Harvard-educated Christian is no stranger to the spotlight. In the early 90s, he was dubbed the yuppie bank robber after the FBI linked him to a string of 21 bank robberies. He pleaded guilty in 1992 to two of the robberies and was sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison. I'm not going to comment on the particular histories of any, any of our employees or any personnel who work at the commission. In general, I do want to make a strong statement about people who go to jail, do their time, come out, complete their parole, are fully rehabilitated. In Christian's case, that rehabilitation could be in question. He admitted to the internal investigator that at best, I am guilty of gross negligent supervision of the kitchen. But the internal investigator's report comes down hard, pointing out the city kitchen catered a birthday party for Christian's mother-in-law and his sister's funeral. But Christian did not disclose that to the investigator until after another employee implicated him. Christian then told the investigator he was sure everything was paid for and produced emails and a copy of this check for $100, which the investigator noted he considers proof that the catering provided was paid for. The kitchen also provided catering to a construction company, a company where Christian told the investigator he knew the guys. It turns out he knows them well. He's listed in state records as the manager of the company. The investigator says Christian downplayed his role in an attempt to conceal any perception of impropriety, fully aware of the ethical implication.
You got pretty lucky holding on to your job. Uh, I really can't speak to you. I'm sorry. You use the city kitchen to cater events for your family. Is that appropriate? I can only tell you that I can't speak to you. I just, I can't, can't do it. Given your extensive criminal record, do you think you have any credibility when it comes to allegations involving stealing? I can't respond. Dr. Ferrer is responding. She's standing by her decision to only fire the kitchen manager. Is the supervisor getting a free pass? No, the supervisor is not. Nobody is getting a free pass here. Every single person um, that uh, was found uh, during the investigation to have played a part in either uh, gross mismanagement or illegal activity was, in fact, uh, severely disciplined. And as part of that disciplinary action, the commission has suspended at least two employees. It's also making employees pay back the commission for the cost of the food they took. The fired kitchen manager, John Fell, declined our request to be interviewed, but says he did not do anything wrong. The commission has now instituted a number of changes, including new security cameras and new procedures for handling cash. Mark? Mike, that Long Island shelter does a lot of good work with people who find themselves in a bad situation. Is the commission concerned at all that this is going to tarnish its reputation? Well, clearly this is not a good news story, but the executive director says the commission is trying to deal with this head-on and hopes the negative story won't overshadow the positive of work that's being done, namely helping people pull their lives back together. But we really don't know what the fallout from all this will be. This is yet another story that started with a tip. Do you have an idea? Call us at 1-800-TV-FOX-25. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.